uh, namaste. Uh, thank you, Prime Minister Modi, for those very generous words. Uh, I want to express my profound gratitude to not only you, but the people of India for the incredible hospitality that has been shown to me and Michelle. Uh, we are thrilled to be back in India. Mera payar, bara namaskar. Mr. Prime Minister, uh, thank you for the invitation uh, to join the people of India on Republic Day. I am honored to be the first American president to attend this celebration, as well as the first president to visit India twice. And uh, this reflects my commitment since the beginning of my presidency to deepen our ties with India. Uh, I'm pleased to be joined by members of my administration, uh, as well as members of Congress uh, and business leaders from the United States, uh, all who believe that uh, a strong relationship with India uh, is critical for America's success in the 21st century. Uh, as two great democracies, two innovative economies, two societies dedicated to the empowerment of our people, including millions of Indian Americans, we are natural partners. Uh, when I addressed your parliament on my last visit, I laid out my vision for how India and the United States could build a defining partnership for the 21st century. And since then, we've made significant progress. Our trade has increased, our military has exercised together more, we're cooperating on key global challenges efforts. Uh, I was proud to welcome you to the White House last fall. Uh, your reputation preceded you. Uh, as many of you know, in New York, uh, the Prime Minister appeared in Madison Square Garden and was greeted like a Bollywood star. Uh, and it was, I think, a signal of the deep friendship between our peoples as well as uh, our close ties uh, that we are working to expand even further. Uh, at the White House, we agreed to take this partnership to a new level. We advanced that work today. Uh, Prime Minister Modi, uh, thank you for hosting me. Uh, uh, including our uh, Chaipe Churcha. Uh, I, we need more of those in the White House. Uh, but even as this visit is, is rich with symbolism, we made sub uh, substantive progress. Uh, Prime Minister has already indicated the United States and India have declared a new uh, declaration of friendship that elevates and formalizes our partnership. And not only is it grounded in the values we share, but it commits us to more regular meetings at the leaders' level and sets up frequent consultations across our government. Uh, we agreed that our trade and economic partnerships must focus on improving the daily lives of our people. Uh, Prime Minister Modi described for me his ambitious efforts to empower rural Indians with bank accounts and to ensure clean water and clean air for the Indian people. And we want to be uh, partners in this effort. In the last few years, trade between our two countries has increased by some 60% toward a record $100 billion. We want to trade even more. So we welcome the reforms that the Prime Minister is pursuing to make it easier to do business here in India. Uh, today we achieved a breakthrough understanding on two issues that were holding up our ability to advance our civil nuclear cooperation and we're committed to moving towards full implementation. And this is an important step uh, that shows how we can work together to elevate our relationship. Uh, we also, as the Prime Minister noted, uh, agreed to resume discussions about a possible bilateral investment treaty. And we will continue to pursue export reforms so that we can advance more high-tech collaborations with India. Uh, I'm also pleased that we agreed to a number of important steps to promote clean energy and to confront climate change. Uh, we very much support India's ambitious goal uh, for solar energy and stand ready to speed this expansion with additional financing. Uh, we're also launching new joint projects to improve air quality in Indian cities. Uh, the United States will share more data and develop tools to help India assess and adapt to the impact of climate change and to help vulnerable communities become more resilient. And going forward, we've agreed to work together to make concrete progress this year towards phasing out hydrofluorocarbons under the Montreal Protocol, and the Prime Minister and I made a personal commitment to work together to pursue a strong global climate agreement in Paris, as I indicated to him. Uh, I think India's voice is very important uh, on this issue. Uh, 
perhaps no country uh, could potentially be more affected uh, by the impacts of climate change. Uh, and no country is going to be uh, more important in moving forward a stronger agreement than India. So we appreciate his leadership. Uh, we agreed to deepen our defense and security cooperation. We've renewed the framework that guides our defense cooperation for another 10 years. And in a major step forward for our relationship, our defense technology and trade initiative will allow us to jointly develop and produce new defense technologies. Uh, we've also agreed to a new vision for the Asia Pacific so that we're doing more together to advance our shared security and prosperity in this critical region. Uh, I thanked the Prime Minister for India's strong counterterrorism cooperation and reiterated even as America's combat mission is over in Afghanistan, we're going to continue to be strong and reliable partners for the Afghan people who have benefited from India's generous assistance over many years. Uh, I thanked uh, the Prime Minister for his continued support for ongoing efforts to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon and to arrive at a, a just diplomatic solution. And finally, we discussed what more we can do as global partners. Uh, I reiterated and uh, reiterate uh, to the Indian people today that we support a reformed UN Security Council that includes India as a permanent member. Uh, at the same time, we see India playing a greater role in ensuring international security and peace and meeting shared challenges. Uh, as a leading contributor to UN peacekeeping missions for many years, India can help the world do even more to protect citizens in conflict zones. Uh, we welcome India's leadership uh, in combating diseases and promoting global health uh, that advances the rights and dignity of citizens around the world. So, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, I very much look forward to tomorrow's ceremonies, which I'm told are truly spectacular. Uh, I'm looking forward to a chance to speak directly to the Indian people uh, on the radio and in my speech on Tuesday about what I believe we can achieve together. Uh, this new partnership will not happen overnight. It's going to take time to build and some patience, but it's clear from this visit that we have a new and perhaps unprecedented opportunity and deepening our ties with India is going to remain uh, a top foreign policy priority for my administration. So let me just say, uh, thank you very much.